Hey guys, Raya here. It's halfway through 2024, so I wanted to take a minute to review the progress I've made on my goals so far and reset for the second half of the year. So here's a reminder of what my goals are for the year. For my health, I wanted to eat smaller meals throughout the day, and I've done pretty good with that. I found the best success came from having reminders on my phone and figuring out a meal plan during the weekend to have protein snacks prepared and thought out during the week to make it easier day by day. I wanted to stretch and exercise every day. I built up a pretty good habit of doing it three days a week on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday by going to the gym, but I want to make sure that on Tuesdays and Thursdays I'm doing some stretching and exercising as well, even though I don't head to the gym on those days. I found that I was most likely to work out if I did it first thing in the morning, and if I had an accountability partner to go with, even if we did different exercises once we were at the gym. But I've also started implementing small exercise chunks by walking after each meal, which helps with breaking it up throughout the day, and it can also help with digestion and blood sugar. I'm getting closer to waking up at 6.30 every day on weekdays, and I'm definitely doing well at getting up at the right time on the weekends. I found that I had more success with getting up early when I went to bed at the same time each night. I also didn't want to give up my evening phone time, so I made sure to head to bed about 30 minutes earlier than I used to in order to give myself time to scroll for a bit and then decompress before bed. I'm doing great at brushing my teeth twice a day, but I do need to get better at flossing every night, and I need to work on getting a good skincare routine in the evenings as well. As weird as this may sound, I got better at this once I put a toothbrush in the shower. I hate the feeling of getting wet at the sink. So brushing and water flossing in the shower eliminated that problem for me and it's become so much more of a habit now. I haven't been very successful at building a habit of meditation, so I'd like to do that a bit more regularly. I've increased my water intake by a good amount, but I'm not even close to getting 64 ounces regularly, let alone the 90 to 120 that is my ultimate goal. So for the next few months, I'm going to try to get up to that 64 ounce range, and then we'll see if I want to keep going even higher after that. I definitely increased my water intake once I started associating amounts of water with specific times of day, like drinking a full bottle by the time I finished up at the gym, or drinking half a bottle with both morning and evening medications. And then for my big areas of personal growth this year, I unfortunately haven't made the time to write my book like I really want to. I keep saying I will, but I let stuff get in the way. And unfortunately, I'm going to be even busier over the next few months, so I do think that this is going to be on the back burner until about October, but I'm hoping for that last quarter of the year to really push forward on this goal. I also haven't spent time improving on the creative habits that I want, like photography and music, so I hope to spend more time doing that later this year as well. But I've been doing great at emergency preparedness. I've got a bug out bag and food storage, I worked on shooting and archery skills, and I've been improving my physical fitness throughout the year as well. And I have even more skills and experiences lined up for the rest of the year, so I'm excited to continue working on this goal. Moving forward for the second half of the year, I've adjusted my ideal daily schedule to have time built in for my health goals, and I've built in time for existing activities that I didn't have on the schedule before. I changed the meal times in my schedule to make sure that I had time for the four smaller meals that I wanted to have as a goal. I've also made a high protein meal plan to try to follow for the second half of the year that accommodates my medical needs as well as my sensory issues around food. If that goes well, I may do a follow up video towards the end of the year going over that meal plan in more detail to help people that are a little more like me. And then I've had some medical appointments recently and I've been able to start some new medications to help deal with some of the symptoms I've had my entire life. I'm starting to see some improvements in my hormones and overall physicality, but it's a bit slow going and I wanna be sure to give myself the rest and recovery time I need to continue improving myself and to care for myself. So I'm giving myself a little bit of grace when it comes to actually finishing the checklist items on this new year's resolution list but I'm proud of all the progress I have made in these goals, and I hope to continue to see improvement even with all of the life changes I've made. Let me know how you're progressing on your New Year's resolutions and goals, or if you've made adjustments to finish the year strong. Thanks for watching.